one of those massive adult bouncy things. Yeah, what are they called? Space offers. And on the face of the space offer was Boris Johnson's face. And I was bouncing up and down on it. And then suddenly I drifted up into space, up into the stars, and became omniscient. Yeah? And I think we can achieve that together. <laughs> Has anyone got a space offer? <laughs> Is anyone up for going to, running down to the t shirt? No? I'm going to drop the drag king just for a little bit. Because <laughs> um, I feel like this is a safe space to do a bit of sharing. Right? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Do a little bit of sharing. And I'm going to tell you a little story. Um, when I was in high school, I started my period when I, well, when I, before I was in high school, I started my period when I was 10. Uh, and I started puberty when I was about 7. Uh, I started masturbating then, um, and everything happened super, super quickly, and I wasn't ready to feel like a woman. I wasn't ready for womanhood at all. Like, what child bleeding at 10 is ready for that? Um, I've always, always had a lot of uh, testosterone, <laughs> which is exciting. Um, I have a lot of hair in my body, and on my second day at high school, I was wearing tights because it's hot, it's, it's summer, but I've got really hairy legs and mum won't let me shave and I kind of also don't want to shave. Um, and I'm wearing tights, it's really hot, and people are like, what's going on? I'm wearing tights. And then someone saw some of my hair poking through the tights and went absolutely fucking crazy. It was as if they'd never seen a woman with hair, never seen a hair on a leg before. It was awful. They were like, that is disgusting. You were disgusting. Oh my God, I cannot believe I can see that. Why don't you shave your legs? Why don't you shave your legs? Why don't you shave your legs? And this one went for a very, very long time, almost a year, until there was also a lot of stuff about me not wearing makeup and all of that jazz. Um, and it went on for a while. Uh, until when I was in year eight, they pinned me down and uh, forced makeup on me, and I cried. And I cried. And I cried. Eh? Do you know what? Your dream is my reality. Then we can swap. <laughs> um, and since then, I kind of like put all of my masculine energy away in a little tiny box inside me. And I um, just feminised completely. And it isn't until the last two years where I've allowed it to come out again. So this is my <laughs> toxic masculinity uh, way, not even toxic masculinity, masculine way of kind of like bringing that out again. And I'm really, uh, thank you so much for letting me share that little story with you. I know it's not beautifully penned, um, but I uh, feel very grateful to you. And I'm also just going to sing you a little song because it kind of fits in with the set, although I've completely gone the other way now, but I'm going to just sing it to you if that's all right. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> 